I'm not sure how long this video is going to be up, so watch it right now while you can. I'm sure this is going to offend a few men, but ladies, I do not care. I'm about to talk about the four annoying text messages that guys consistently send and what you as a woman should text back to those guys in those moments. Number one. The validate me text. This is when a guy who's been putting in very little effort all of a sudden texts you and says, Miss you. Now many women think this is lovely and oh my god, he was thinking of me after all. And then they show all of their friends, look. And they go, oh my god, see, he was thinking of you. I don't want you to validate him back by saying, miss you too. Or, hey, what have you been up to? Instead, I just want you to say this. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And then a smiley face. Take the validation, enjoy it, be sweet and humble with it, but do not give him back what he's asking for in this miniature moment of investment. Annoying text number two, the back from the dead text. This is when a guy who hasn't messaged you in weeks all of a sudden sends you a message like this. Hey, I've been thinking about you. This is a guy who decided to go off the radar and then all of a sudden is gonna come back and control the narrative because he feels like it in this moment. Instead, you're gonna control the narrative. So here's what you send. Well, duh. It's certain, it's confident, and most importantly, it's cheeky. It teases him and it puts you in the position of controlling his emotions a little bit instead of it just being the other way around. Annoying text number three, the entertain me text. This is when a guy sends, Hey. This is not a complex response from you. All you're gonna do is give just as much investment, but with more passion to show that you're actually excited about life. So you're gonna say, hey, exclamation mark. Then let him take the lead. If he doesn't, do not text him again. Annoying text number four, the flake text. You've arranged with a guy to meet up one night and then at 11 o'clock that night, having not contacted you all evening, he sends a message that says, hey, what are you up to? It's almost like you never arranged anything and he's just now checking in. Here's what you send. In my PJs, about to sleep. He'll probably send a message being like, oh, I was hoping I would see you because he's doing the late night booty call thing that guys do. What you then send is this. I thought we were catching up at a more reasonable hour, but since I didn't hear from you, I assumed you had a flaky moment. Wink. This does a couple of amazing things. Firstly, you've said, next time, get in touch at a more reasonable hour. In other words, you've shown a standard. Secondly, you've called him a flaky guy in this moment. No guy wants to be labeled as flaky. And lastly, you've added a wink to show that even when you're showing your standard, you can still be playful with it and not aggressive. You like these texts? I know you did, because everyone in life sometimes just wants to take the thinking out of something and be told what to say. If you want more of these, I have nine more copy and paste text messages that you can send to any guy to get more attraction, more commitment, more respect, and more desire. Getting these is really simple. Just go to 9texts.com and download the complimentary guide that I have that outlines each of these nine text messages. Take one of them, take out your phone, pull up a guy you like, and send him the message right now in the next five minutes. I can't wait to hear how it went. Go to 9texts.com, I will see you there.